excellent, excellent information office here in Obervessel. Really good. We're going to walk the, the walls and see so many different things. Look at all the different brochures that they have here. The walls are largely intact in their original medieval form and amongst the most significant and best preserved fortifications in all of Germany as well as providing protection against attack, flooding, and even ice drift, they were of almost equal importance for the reputation of a town. It's the hospital tower. Figure out is how to climb up onto the wall. Right here. High walls and towers were visible for miles and bore witness to the power and wealth of the town. The walls once extended over a length of more than two and a half kilometers and varied in height from eight to 16 meters depending on the terrain. There were also 22 towers, 16 of which still stand. This place is incredible. A rose chapel dating from the 13th century street runs right under the choir of the chapel. The chapel, really, 1270. Interesting that the fortress ran right under the church. Here. We have two towers. The one in the foreground is a Steingassen term, and the other one is the Oaksen term. Demonstrates the power and confidence of medieval Obervessel. The round tower was formerly known as the Red Tower. It's now called the Hog Tower, named after this man who established a workshop here in 1865. The Liebfrauen Church is one of the most important Gothic churches in the Rhineland, and its gold altar is the oldest Gothic shrine altar in Germany. It's not really gold, it's wood painted gold. And from the Catholic Church, we come to this memorial to the 57 Jews that were deported between 1933 to 1945. I always find it incredible that they could not protect 57 men, women, and children. The Gothic St. Martin's Church was built in 1350 and is decorated with old murals inside. The tower was included in the city wall for defensive purposes, so steps up to it. <laughs> 